Hello everyone, and welcome back to another good video on Fun Times. And today, we've got a little different video, and uh, I know I've been, um, so if you haven't watched my, um, the mock I did on uh, last Friday, not last Friday, the Friday, um, after this Friday, that was before this Friday, um, I mentioned that, uh, I was, um, going to, like, I got something very cool. So, uh, today I'm going to finally show it to you because I had to wait, like, seven, eight days for this to come. Now, like, well, like, six, five to six. But it is awesome. And let me just get into it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, we got it, guys. We, right here, we have the Clone Turbo Tank 8098, and I believe this was back from 2010. And we got this, I got this with all of the pieces included and with all of the minifigures. This is awesome. And so... This came with all the pieces, all the minifigures, and everything. Oh, no, that's just the only on the side. But, that is so cool. Like, so, I think I'm gonna go over, like, this is gonna be like a review slash haul. I think I put in a haul for the title of this video. So it's like, kind of like a surprise. But, let me, like, uh, so you the whole build and turbo, the turbo tank. Oh, and I got this for a fully complete turbo tank. Um, write in the comments below how much do you think this costs? Like, because this took me a long time to save up for it. But like, yeah, leave your guesses in the comments below. And yeah, um... So, wait one second. Um, leave your comments in the uh, comment below. And, uh, it, it is in, it was, um, um, so it was, uh, it was, it's over 200, and it's under 230, and it is not an even number. So, you got five seconds to take your guesses. Five, four, three, two, one. So, final total cost me two hundred and twelve dollars, and that's a really good price for the for a complete turbo tank. So, let's just get into the build. So, firstly, we've got the main hatch. Not very spacious, spacey, but. It's still amazing. And then we got this like turret on the side. This piece right here keeps it like so it doesn't go down. And then in here there's not much. It's just room for guys to sit in like any of the figures. You could fit like maybe like five or six guys in here. And then let's close it up. And it's the same thing on the other side. Now let's go to the front. So, you got the turrets. And then, a lot of this stuff can open up. This opens, this opens, this opens, this opens. And you can see that connects. So there we've got it. That open and closes. Now, I'm only gonna show you one side of this because there's no point showing the other side because it's the exact same thing. These two things can kind of open. And there's not much in there. I don't think you can see it. There's not really much in there, but then in the next area though, there's a lot. So here we go. This opens and closes, and we've got the gun rack in here. Yeah, if you guys don't know, if you guys know that, um, if you guys have seen my uh, video with the Republic on chip in it, 
in the Republic gun shop, there's this area where you can put your gun rack, and it's like kind of the same thing as the turbo tank, which I really like. And here's the gun rack. Unfortunately, the blaster that it came with, it was broken, so I decided to use one of mine. But that's fine with me because, um, uh, because I have like thousands of them. So, lastly, we've got, uh, I thought this part was the front, but then I looked it and looked it up pretty much, and this is actually the front. You can actually tell because of the turrets. Okay, so here it's pretty much the same as the front. So, there you got it. There's seats, the controls, and yeah. So, so yeah. And then, so let's go to the top. We've got like this turret right here. Uh, here to show you those turrets. And then you got these lights everywhere around the thing, around the turbo tank. Then we've got this cool turret. And we then we're then we got this the handle. I am so happy they included the handle. Then here's one of the hair parts. It, you can put a guy. Here, let me get a guy in there. I only use this clone trooper, and I put him in there. That looks like he's controlling it. And so, yeah, that's basically what it is. And then we got these stickers and stuff. So now that we've gone over the turbo tank, let's go over the uh, minifigures and other miniature builds. So here's like a command center. So, um, it's really cool, and, like, you can have two guys, like, side by side. No, actually, you can't, but you can be, like, controlling this area, and there's control panels right here. You can put a guy in there. Pretty cool. So, next, we've got, and this is a really cool part of it, a walker. A mini walker, and you can also put a guy here. And this walker is only in this set. Now let's go to the minifigures. First, we've got a normal clo trooper in his armor. Next, we've got a clo trooper has these two like antenna and then uh, an accessory <coughs> and it's the same thing as the other clone trooper then we've got cad bane with everything even the back piece next we've got soga This is the older version of Ahsoka. There's, there's a newer version in the uh, AAT, I believe, or it's ATT, I don't know, but uh, I think it's AAT in the droid tank. It's a new version of Ahsoka. And we got the old version of Anakin, because I have a version of Anakin that's in his like pilot form. <laughs> So it's just this normal version. And then, I don't know the name of this person, but here she is. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Please remember to like the video and subscribe. Comment down below. And yeah, see you guys later.